Hi, in this video, we're gonna show how to create a manual sign request. Okay, I went to the sign butter app and I went to the manual sign request tab in the app. Next up is I'm gonna select the files that I need to digitally sign. So in my case, I'm gonna actually select two files. So first of all, I'm gonna sign my car quote document. And next up, I also gonna add general terms and conditions that need to be signed. So in this case, there are two signs, two files. You can sign multiple files or only one file depending on your needs. Okay, the two files are now there. I can just click the next button. And then I need to drag and drop uh, yeah, the signing placeholders that I want to add. So first of all, I'm gonna put it on my car quote. Documents, I need to scroll to the page that needs the signing uh, placeholders. So for this case, it's going to be last page. And the first signer I want to say is Andy English. And the second signer is myself. So, okay, that's one document done. Now for the other document, the general terms and conditions. There I have to scroll to the last page because here is my signing request and this is the same two signers. So I'm gonna add the placeholders right here for the signers. When all the placeholders are done on both documents, I can click the next button. If there is a placeholder forgotten or one document has more signing placeholders than the other documents, you will get an error. So, and you have to remove one of the placeholders or add the same amount of placeholders to both documents. Click the next button, it will now prepare my sign request and present me the, uh, the overview. So I need to select a title for my sign request. So this is the, let's call this uh, demo uh, manual sign request. Okay, then I have to select a template. The template can vary because maybe you have uh, different um, email templates that you want to use or translations or uh, uh, brandings that you want to use, that's all set in the template. So that's your, what your company has to set up. Then for the stakeholders, the first stakeholder, I can select any stakeholder here that already exists, or I can select to create a new one. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna create a new signer directly. Um, so I'm gonna call this Andy um, Demo. The email address is, I'm gonna, just gonna link this to my own email address for now. The language is very important. It's, let's say that the language is uh, English, and then I'm gonna save the contact. So now, if I need more contacts, I can create them directly, but I, uh, one is fine for now. So let's find out this uh, contact and the demo that I just created for the signing, and the other one is my own user. So that's gonna be your Stuiver. Okay, so now both have been set. I see that I have one signer in English and one signer in Dutch. So that's fine, everything looks good. And now the next, the last step is creating the sign request. So while creating the sign request, it will take your documents. It will uh, check that all documents have all stakeholders, all stakeholding placeholders, uh, depending on the number of stakeholders, signers that you have in your overview, and then your document is ready and your, uh, and your request is successfully launched. You can review your request immediately by clicking this button, but that's how easy it is to actually set up an, uh, a new sign request.